I know you guys miss me and I miss you too. I've just been engaged with a lot of things, but I'm back now and I'm going, and I'm going to be pumping videos for you guys. So get ready to continue getting value from where we stopped. Remember we had the book cover design challenge ongoing before we did not complete the challenge. So now I want us to complete the challenge as fast as possible. And I hope your book cover design game is now lit. According to our challenge timetable, we are on day seven, which is floral low content book cover ideas. Now let me explain this. Floral are very beautiful flower design inspiration covers that are mostly used for low content books. Any type of low content book that you are writing, you can use this type of cover for it. I'm going to design two covers for you to see that you can use it to design any other niche you're trying to model. But majorly, these type of covers are used for low content. For the purpose of this video, we are going to be designing one planner or journal and a notebook cover. So let's start with the notebook cover. The first thing you want to do is to go to Pixabay to get a floral pattern background that we can use. So let's head straight to Pixabay. This is Pixabay and you just type floral background okay floral background this is what we want remember that this first one that would display on top one two three four you don't touch them if you look at it very well they are tagged sponsored images i stock limited deal they are i stock you have to pay to use them in most cases they are usually more beautiful but that does not mean that you will not get free images that are beautiful too so if you start scrolling down this is floral this is floral floral is a type of flower so when you have low content books and you have flower as the cover background it makes it very attractive to people or to potential buyers so look at this flower as you keep scrolling down you will keep seeing beautiful flowers that you can use for a notebook or a journal background okay look at this one i mean there are a lot of them if you scroll down and you get to the end of this page you will see that this is page one of 398 other pages you see all these are beautiful floral designs let's check the next page okay here you go it's saying we have 39,722 free images of floral backgrounds that we can use as you can see all these are beautiful beautiful floral backgrounds you keep checking i mean you would see a lot that you can use so let's just pick one for the purpose of this video so we don't waste too much time trying to look for a nice image i like this one i'll just click on it when you click on it it will open wide then you right click as we've been doing and you copy image then you go back to your canva when you go back to your canva we add another page this is the page that we want to use for this design so you just paste it here then use it to fill up the page or if you don't use it to fill up the page you can just right click on it and then select replace background okay as you can see this picture has been used to cover the entire background at the same time if you don't do that you can always click it and then use it to fill up the page as we've been doing both of them work perfectly anyhow you do it it's fine as you can see we achieved the same thing either you make it a background or you just click it to fill up the page you are good to go now imagine this as a notebook let's say you've created your notebook and then you want to design a cover for it this is perfect for a notebook there are thousands of floral designs that you can get on pixabay that you can use for your notebook the next thing to do is to come on elements when you go to elements as we've been doing if you've been following this challenge you will know that this has been our pattern it's very simple i tell you anything i want to teach you i simplify it to the easiest way for you to understand you can do anything here let's try this look at this effect let's click on it when you click it you increase the size as you can see you can increase the size like this just be creative okay when you increase the size you take it up you can now change the color this is the color you click on this color here and then you select any color you want but for the purpose of this video i'm going to make it color white so it will blend with the background now it's time to write our text just come here go to text and then you can just give it a name you can say um, back to school notebook okay let's just write back to school back to school okay i'll just write back to school here i'll increase the font size take it up like this leave it here and then i'll write notebook because it's a notebook 
now i can decide to use another font to write notebook let's try that notebook let me do that notebook okay i can just increase the size of the notebook like this and put it here now this is perfect but i want to change the font just click here on that font you look for a font that suits your notebook anything that appeals to you is just fine this is a simple notebook cover so you don't have to do anything special let's try this one and see what it will give us you can leave it like this it does not mean anything it's fine okay but let me try something else i think i'll prefer this back to school to be this font then the notebook will be a normal font like this let's select this one okay i think i like it like this back to school notebook you see that it looks very nice and simple but another thing you can do is that instead of using this effect that we use let's delete the effect so we should just go to elements and get shape which is you can use the square shape you can fill up the page like this with it when you do this you change it to any color you want you can make it color white or remember to always use a color that is on the background so as it is like this i still prefer white you can use any color you want then you drag it to where you want to put it like this as you can see this is a back to school notebook and it's perfectly done another thing you can do is that because you're talking about a back to school you can now look for elements like pencil book school bag food pack and then add it to the background of this image let's quickly do that i would like to take circle if i have a circle like this i'll put it somewhere here then i'll duplicate that plus put it somewhere here i can just duplicate it again add one more put it here you know just to beautify this back to school notebook now i'll make that color white let me still make it color white i don't want anything odd i'll still make it color white you can use any other color as long as it is part of the colors on this background you are good to go so as it is like this i'll now go to elements and i'll search pencil okay i want to put a pencil now to show that this is a back to school type of book okay so now when i go to pencil under graphics i'll say see all i'll click on see all because i want to see all the pencil image that we have here so as you can see remember we are using the free version of canva i have the pro version but i understand that not everybody can have the pro version or have money to subscribe for the pro version so i'm using the free version to explain to you guys you see that some of them have this icon all these crown icons means that you need to pay to use them so all you need to do if you're using the free version is that you have to look for the ones that don't have so this one does not have you just click on it so it will appear on your design interface then you reduce it a little so to fit into this circle okay just place it inside the circle like this and that's perfect then let's go and look for book okay let's look for book like a notebook you know this is a back to school type of book so we want to put things that will attract people to back to school or attract students to want to go back to school and buy this book so this is book this is a book this is a book remember we're using the ones that does not have the crown so let's take this one just click on it and then you reduce the size so it will fit into the circle you created okay there's another one another thing that depicts back to school can be a school bag so we search for school bag set school bag like this when it displays you pick the one that would be attractive or will make your book look attractive this is how to create this type of notebook covers you click on see all because you want to see all then you look for the one that does not have the crown icon okay anyone that does not have the crown icon is fine as long as it's a school bag look at this one i like it i like this one too let's click on this and then reduce the size when you reduce the size then you fit it into your circle the circle you created and then you see that this is perfect now you can do this you can do for more items you can if you want these things if you want this circle to come out such that it is showing very well on this notebook cover you just click on the circle then you see this line here you see border style you click on it and then you increase it you see you see border width you increase it to like four as you can see or let's make it six okay you can also change the color you see just beside it you see border color you click on border color and then you can change that to color red just so that it will come out very well 
do the same for this one you click here then you go to the border weight you increase the weight to six two or any number that you think is nice for this cover but don't make it too obvious so that it will blend with the background you change the color to you click on this color and then you select color green you know it's a children kind of thing so you would want it to have different attractive colors so you click the third one you go here you increase that to um six and then you change the color to maybe let's see color let's see navy blue and then you are good to go as you can see this is a back to school notebook and it looks good you can just change the color of this notebook to color red or green or anything you like you know just play with it such that you have something nice or let's just leave it at black or let's make it navy blue yeah navy blue is fine so this is one of the covers and we are done with it already no more no less let's quickly create the second cover and then we'll move to the next video actually if you look at this cover it seems okay but it's basic in my opinion it looks very basic for me so i would like to add some touches to it now this notebook i would like to change the font i'll change the font to a normal simple font let's try this and see okay now i would want to increase the spacing like this now this is back to school notebook the next thing i want to do now is i'll go to effects okay on effect i'll select outline i want it to have an outline then i'll reduce the outline like this i'll reduce it to like 10 10 is fine then i'll change the color of the outline this is the color i'll change it to let's see what red will do okay not bad not bad not bad not bad i can still change the fonts if i want to let me see a better font i would like the aerial font or area rounded let me see what this would do okay i think i like this one now so we have back to school notebook like this i can decide to also give this one a line okay i just click on it click here and then increase the weight like this just so that it will differentiate that part from the background so i'll go to color i can change that to color i like a color on this background so let's pick something like this or i like this color that looks like a lemon color so yes this is good you can leave it like this then why can't we just spice it up by changing all this circle to shapes now this is circle let's make this triangle i'll delete that i'll go to elements and i'll search for shapes under shapes i'll see all i'll click see all and then i'll select triangle this triangle i'll just move it to where i want to put it like this increase the size then i send it to back because it's already covering the element i'll send it backwards like this as you can see the book is inside it i can just leave it like this this one too i'll delete this and then look for another shape go back to elements and see what shape would be attractive okay go to see all and then let's look for a shape that will be attractive we've used triangle we've used circle i don't want to use square let's use this okay i like this one you bring it down a little it's covering the bag so you can just send it backwards again okay click here go to positions then you click backwards as you can see this looks nice but i don't like the fact that it's color red so i can decide to change this to color white or yellow let me try yellow and see yellow does not look nice but we can still leave it like that because it's a student thing we can leave it like that just reduce the size of this book a little this is color red i might decide to make it color green this particular green this lemon green that is on the background this one i can just do it like this then i give it a shape outline I can increase the outline like this okay i can now make the outline color white you know just play with it such that you have a nice design i can also give this an outline color okay increase the border like this then you make it color what color are we going to give that now let's try white or let's see what green would give us yes green is not bad so if you have this you can add more shapes to your design okay as you can see a notebook does not require you to put your name your author name but if you want to put your author name you can put it somewhere here but it does not require an author name so as you can see we are done with this particular book 
let's move to the next book now i said the next book we want to do a journal so we go back and get a floral design okay a floral background we'll go back to pixabay this is pixabay let's look for another floral background that we can use for the journal book cover and I want to be specific now. I want to make it a recipe journal. So you just keep scrolling. You will definitely see the one that you like. That's for sure. You will definitely see a floral background that you would like. Just make sure it's not something that is too busy and it's simple. I found this. I like this or this. Which are we going to take? Let's take this one. You just click on it. Whenever you see the one you like, you just click on it. Right click. Copy image. Go back to your Canva and paste. Now when you paste it, you can either use it to fill up the page or just do what we did the other time. Right click on it and replace background and it will fill up the page. As you can see, we want to create a recipe journal. Now the next thing you want to do is to pick a shape. You can pick a shape like this, click on it, put it where you would want to write the title of this book. Okay, like this. You see they look alike but I just like it like this then i can leave this color i think i like this color or let's just make it background color you click on it and then you select this particular color that is in the background i think this is it you do it like this you can now give it a line you click on this line you increase it like this and then you change the color to this now you see that this makes sense we want to write the title of this book inside here but now if you just leave it like this it does not show that it's a recipe journal okay even if you're going to write it you need to put something that makes it look like a recipe journal what i used to do or what i would do in this case is that the recipe journal itself the interior i'll go and take part of the interior and paste it on this background so it will come out nice but before i do that i'll first of all go to elements and i'll search frame in some of these videos i've explained how to use frame so if you don't understand it please quickly go back to either challenge day one or day two or the three one of those videos you definitely see how to use frames so you click on see all okay then you look for a frame that makes sense now you keep scrolling down i need a frame that looks like a picture something that if i paste my recipe um image inside it it will come out very beautiful so i need something that looks like a picture or a real picture frame so look at this one i like this one okay just click on it and it will appear on the background or the interface your design interface just place it wherever you want your image to show i can just place it anywhere here or maybe in the middle or i can even place it somewhere just around just put it anywhere that you like now when you do this you will now go and get the interior of that your journal that you created let's go and get that i have one that i've created before so i'm just coming to google to get one i couldn't find the one that i saved so i just come here i search for recipe journal just right click on the one you like then you copy it i'm not saying you should do this i'm just doing this for the purpose of this video in your own case you would already have created your own journal interior so when you copy you go back to your canva and then you paste it here when you paste it here like this as it displays you can crop it to show only the parts that you want it to show okay since it's a recipe journal I want it to show only the recipe journal section so i'll just drag it into this frame as you can see this is how the recipe journal looks like and it's also giving the potential buyer an idea of what they'll be expecting in the interior now you can make that a little bigger okay you can just do it something like this you can move it up a little leave it like this if you want to write your name you can decide to write your name on this one you just come here click this and you put legal naira when you do this legal naira you place it wherever you want to put it you can just leave it here and then it's time to write the title of this book you can go to your text again then you type the title you can just say diabetes recipes journal now when you do this you take it up place it here you can make that color yellow because there is yellow on this background or even this lemon this lemon color is not bad okay you click on it you go to font color select this or let's make it yellow 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 will come out more so now when you do this you can you can try to change the the type of fonts you want for them as you can see this is 
diabetes recipes journal you can just place it in the center as you like okay you can change the font to any type of font you want let's try to change the font you click on it you look for another font that would be attractive just look for let's try this okay i think i like this one then you can increase it a little so it should be bold then you just put it here like this i mean this is okay you know even though we just rushed it but it's still very very okay so this is how you can create book covers using the floral design pattern there are thousands of floral design patterns that you can get from pixabay to use for your designs and this is perfectly okay this you can make this more beautiful i just use something i saw on google you can have a better interior design now when somebody sees this they would already have an idea of what the interior of this book looks like you can also use different design you can just decide to place it without an element just place it on it like that let's try that you delete the elements you go back to let's download this you copy you go back to your canva and then paste it here like this okay when you paste it and it appears here all you need to do is to make sure it's showing only the parts where you need to use then you can duplicate this if you want when you duplicate it you can rotate it like this put one here then this one you can also rotate it again you can do anything just to show the potential buyer that this is what they should be expecting you can put it like this on this page then bring this one down and change the font color to maybe yellow let's see what yellow would give us then you add effects you can increase that so that it will show the name legal naira okay you can do anything or instead of using that you can just use this background effect then you change the background color to black or navy blue or the color on this page so like this you see you're good to go this is easy and sweet this can be your recipe journal as you can see we used a floral design to achieve this i hope you are going to practice this and when you practice it you would also tag me on twitter to show me the one you created if you follow this challenge from day one till now well done i want to really commend you because it's not easy and if this is your first time on my channel welcome i'm legal naira and all i do here is to try to teach you all i know to help you make money online especially through amazon kdp thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next challenge video